Hi and welcome to Black Eye Studios. I'm your host Casey and today we're going to go over how to set up a SOC 5 server. Now if you haven't done already, please like, subscribe, or share this channel. It helps me to keep making them and if they're useful to you, it, I would really appreciate it. Alright, let's get started. First we're going to go and launch a new instance. If you haven't already seen my tutorial on how to create a new EC2 instance, you should go look at that before doing this because I'm going to run through this pretty quick. We're going to go to AWS Marketplace. I'm going to select the CentOS 7 image. It's what I build all of my servers off of is CentOS 7. So we're going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to quickly go through this and make a T2 micro. Okay, I'm going to put it in my proper VPC and subnet. If I am a role I'm going to leave around and the shutdown behavior I'm going to leave her alone. I'm just going to do it as a shared instance. And now I'm going to add storage to it. I typically do 30 gigs and I do general provisioned SSDs. It's the best uh, bang for your buck there. And I'm going to delete on termination because I don't want this hanging around. It's just going to be for a tutorial. I'm going to add a tag. I'm going to add a name here. I'm going to add, I'm going to call it SOC5. All right, I'm just going to use my existing security group that I've used before. I've made one here earlier for SOC 5. It just has SSH and has another rule for SOC 5. You can look at that if you want to, but it, it's just simple um, port binding. You can look at my tutorial on subnets if you need some more information about that. All right, the instance is launching here. Just take a few minutes. We're going to go view the instance now. And there's our instance running. We've got a public IP assigned to it. It's still pending, so it's still initializing, but we're going to start getting set up to get logged into it. All right, looks like it's fully running, so I'm going to go ahead and try to log into it. I'm going to grab the public IP address here, and I'm going to put in SOC 5. I'm going to change that and save it in my putty config and then I'm going to open it. Now when you first log in it's going to require you to log in as CentOS um, as the first time. Now I usually configure these for my own login but this one I'm just going to throw away so I'm going to leave it alone. So the first thing I'm going to do is yum install y so that it accepts hyphen y and then I'm going to do EPL hyphen release. I have to perform that as root, so I'm going to sudo bang bang to make sure that it runs it as root. I'm going to just switch over to root to make this a lot easier since I'm going to be doing a lot of installs. So I'm going to sudo group install development tools. Now this is going to take a little bit of time, but I'll time lapse this for you guys so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to install GCC auto make auto config libtool make pam hyphen devil yum hyphen utils open ldap hyphen devil and open SSL hyphen devil. Again, I'll time lapse all this so you don't have to sit here and watch this, but this does take a, quite a few installs to get a sock server running. Now I'm going to make a directory. I'm going to have to make slash opt slash ss5 this makes the directory where it's going to launch in if you don't make it it won't work and then i'm going to cd into that directory i'm going to wget from sourceforge the actual tar gz of ss5 and i'm going to untar it now i'm going to cd into the directory that it untarred i'm going to do a dot configure All right, now I'm going to go ahead and tell it to make. After that's done, I'm going to do make install. Now I'm going to cd into etsy opt ss5. I'm going to copy the old, the password configuration to an original. And I'm going to edit it because we're going to set up authentication here. Also going to copy the config file as well. We're going to mess with some configurations. I want to have the originals in case I need to look at them or do something with them. All right, looks like the SS5 config is not there, or sorry, Vim is not there, so I'm gonna install Vim. 
It will come with VI. I forgot to install Vim. I like the additional functionalities of Vim. So I'm going to install that. And it looks like this config is not where I expect it to be. Hold on here. Oh, there we go. We had to add Etsy opt SS5 SS5 conf to find it here on CentOS. So I'm looking for the auth section. You can see there's this all these different sections about auth. This is the one we're going to turn on here. We're going to make some modifications to it. So I'm actually just going to do a line below it. Oh, and there's a Facebook friend. I'll be sure to blur that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to do auth with, uh, we're going to bind to every port and or, or every IP address and any available port that SS5 is using. We're going to do user auth and we're going to do the permit here. Now we're going to go into passwords. We're just going to enter a very simple password. These are um, just space delimited and uh, every line would be user and password essentially. So it's stored in raw text. Not the safest, but it's the way SS5 does it. So now that we've gone ahead and made our user, we've made our auth and, and made our permit line, we're going to do some additional permissions here so that it can run. So we're going to own the password file by root root. We're going to change it to 750 as far as the um, read, write, and execute is. All right. That... Uh, should be good there. Now we're going to go ahead and tell it to run as root and we're going to bind it to 889 on every IP. All right, I'm quickly going to do a net stat AMP to make sure that we have it bound to the right port. And there's our binding there. It's process 2012 if you want to look up what's bound to it, but it's SS5. We can see that right away, especially since I grepped it. And it looks like we looked there and 2012 is right there. That is our command we ran. So it is the proper thing that's listening on that port. All right, I'm going to hop over to one of my other boxes, one of my other servers, and I'm going to proxy through this. So I'm going to do a curl sock five. I'm going to use the IP and the, and the username and password and just going to try to get my IP address. You can see there it returned the IP address of this box. So there you have it. It's very uh, simple to set up a SOX 5 server once it's all laid out for you, but it is really hard um, thing to do. There's not a whole lot of tutorials on it, but if you're looking for any additional information, just please comment and I'll, I'll try to answer any questions you have. Or if you're Googling for it, I found the best thing to Google is SS5 and not SOX 5. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please share, like, or comment on this video. Also, please comment on what you'd like to see from us next. You can keep up to date with our tutorials by either subscribing on YouTube, following us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, or email us your comments and or questions.